This video will show you the procedures for biological test sampling of the water. The incubator used for this is located at the townsite water plant. Internal biological sampling and incubation is done on a bi-weekly basis. Biological samples and chlorine samples are taken at six locations pre-selected within the community. The biological samples will incubate for 24 hours to get an overall understanding of the condition of the potable domestic water. Sampling for transportation to the laboratory in Whitehorse is performed monthly. Internal household biosample collection and incubation is performed monthly at a rate of 5 homes per month for a total of 60 homes per year. The sampling provides an indicator of whether harmful microorganisms are present. These samples do not provide a number, but will turn color if there are bacteria present. The operator has a monitoring and sampling record sheet to assist in the data collection. Begin by labeling the six 100 milliliter bacterial analysis sample bottles with the location and date of the samples you will take. Next, next, pack the sample bottles along with a chlorometer, chlorine sample bottles, and a reagent dispenser for chlorine analysis. Before you leave the plant, remember to switch on the incubator to allow enough time for it to reach a temperature of 35 degrees Celsius. The six sample test sites are the town water plant, the five mile water plant, the water delivery truck, the multiplex, the daycare, and the Taku River Clinket First Nation admin building. At each site, you will perform a chlorine analysis to check the free available chlorine in the water supply and take a bacterial analysis sample. If there is an aerator on the faucet, it is important to remove it prior to flushing the water line as aerators can affect the quality of the samples taken. Run the cold water for a few minutes to flush the line. Then, for the chlorine analysis, take a sample bottle, empty it, and rinse three times. Then, fill the test bottle to the 10 milliliter line with water and put the cap on. This is now called the blank. Wipe the outside of the bottle with a lint-free cloth so that it is free of fingerprints and dust. Then, place the blank in the holder with the diamond mark facing you and tightly cover with the instrument cap. Press the zero button and the display will show 0.00. .00. Next, remove the blank from the holder and add one reagent to it. Place the cap back on the bottle and shake gently for 20 seconds. Again, wipe the bottle clean of fingerprints and dust. Then, within one minute after adding the reagent to the sample, place the blank into the holder with the diamond mark facing you and tightly cover with the instrument cap. Now, press the read button. The instrument will show the results in milligrams per liter of free available chlorine. Be sure to record the results on the sampling record sheet. Next, take the pre-labeled bacterial analysis sample bottle and fill it to the 100 milliliter line. Before leaving each location, be sure to replace the aerator back on the faucet. Once you have all six samples, return to the town site water plant. Add the bacterial analysis reagent to each of the samples collected.
then place them in the incubator, which should have a temperature of 35 degrees Celsius for a period of 24 hours. Be sure to record all required data on the sampling record sheet. After 24 hours has passed, remove the sample bottles from the incubator and visually check for any color change in the sample water. If the water is colorless, the sample is negative for bacterial content. If the water is yellow in color, it is positive for bacterial content. If this occurs, please refer to SOP 4, Water Sampling, Section 5, for procedures for dealing with positive results. Record all the results on the sampling record sheet. You have now completed the internal biological test sampling procedures. For additional information about this procedure, please see the following.